Welcome back. We're on part five of our edition of the P40B Tiger Shark. This is for the beginner. This is this is what we have right here, the model. We gotta take this tape off since this is from gluing all these pieces together right here. I just took off all the tape. Now we have to figure out whether or not we want to paint the insides right here or these, which are probably going to leave. With the exception of the top part right here, we're going to paint those. We're going to paint the insides of those drill wells. These have to be taken off right here and right here. Once those are taken off, what we're going to do from there is we're going to put a little bit of contour putty on this. We're going to put some contour putty right here because we have to hide some lines. When we hide those lines, we can sand that out. We'll put the propeller on after this is painted because we have to paint this red. We'll put our wheels on and we'll get this model completed. We have to put together our wheels, so we're going to get our wheels together, parts 26 and 25, 27 and 23. It's the same for the other wheel as well. We're just going to put those together paint them up, but we're not going to attach them to the model just yet. My tape here. I'm going to put another piece of tape just on the opposite side, press that down, form a nice little base, and this is so we can paint our wheels and our other small detail. All we want to do is just stick our wheels to this and our other detail, that way we can paint them without them lifting up. I have to clean parts up like this right here. Sometimes instead of cutting, I like to scrape and go in the opposite direction just to make it a little bit better and I, there is less risk of cutting that part up. See how smooth that makes that? This goes silver right here. See how easy this is to paint when we have it on the tape. It's off the sprue so we were able to clean it up. And all we do is just lay our paint on there. Since we have the silver out, we're going to get this off right here and the other piece of landing gear and we're going to paint those as well. Break off these little tabs because we don't need those. wheels, be careful of this area right here around the edge, we're going to have to glue some of that together.
these two caps get decals, so I'm going to paint them gloss white. The reason they're going gloss white is because it's going to cover the background and the gloss makes the decal lay flat. Inside of this piece right here, that's chromate green or yellow, whatever you want to call it. There are two of those pieces. That's going to go on the wheel well, which is right here where we showed you earlier. This piece right here onto this section right here. This is part of the wheel. I'm just going to snap that off, make sure it's free of all its burrs. Test the fit first as we usually do. Some glue, white amounts, the outside edges of this to our piece. pieces off and paint those along when we paint the bottom of our hubs, which are going to go just turn those over, put some glue inside rims of those. Probably be easier to just take this and place it inside. Just like that. This one will do the opposite. We'll try and see what happens. black right here, the three props. This piece right here is going to go black, that's an eyesight, and this right here. I already broke off a little tab right here for that, so just be careful that you don't break the piece when you're breaking that off. I'm going to leave that space right there because the ends go yellow.
now we've got our wing flaps right here, which we're also going to paint chromate yellow. I probably should have done that ahead of time, but I wasn't exactly sure if that's how I wanted to do this. So this is just what we're going to do for this procedure. Get our paint, just slowly put it in both sides of these wing caps. not getting any putty that way you can have a nice clean line and it's less clean up and sanding to do down now is the time that it's dried I've waited about an hour to sand this down so get a bowl of water and just get yourself some really fine sandpaper and you dip the sandpaper into the water and then you just lightly sand over it I'm gonna leave the tape on some spots that way I don't take away the rivets that you see here you just go on this and you just lightly sand it until it looks like how you want to installing the ring sight and the bead sight and the reason being is that because the holes for those were just too big so I had to put some putty in there and then also some glue and then put those in there. You may have to do that on your model, it just depends, but this is how I had to do mine. We're going to use some scotch tape to do this, it's clear and the reason for that is we can see what we're doing through it. Masking tape on the cockpit, carefully mask that off. 
do want to watch out for this little guy right here. Since I had to put that on, that will probably, I can see that getting broken off very easily. Well, that concludes part five of the P40B Tiger Shark. Remember, if you do want to see more videos from us and timely, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you get the most recent updates. Give us some comments as well, and don't forget to like our videos.